I am at the Burial Beer Company in Asheville, North Carolina. It's one of my favorite breweries here. And I'm going to be talking about the Thresher, uh, which is their coffee Zezan. I love Zezans. Marry me, Zezan. Stay with me forever. Or at least for the next few hours. So not many people know about Zezans. It is not the most common beer we find in America uh, at grocery stores, liquor stores, beer stores, uh, even at microbreweries. Uh, one thing I love about the Burial Beer Company is that they serve a number of different types of Zezans, and this one is my personal favorite. So you might ask, what is a Zezan? Well, a Zezan is like the French farmhouse ale, except it's uh, created in Belgium, another French-speaking country. Who would guess that a decent alcohol would come from a French-speaking country? So let's talk about the beer. This is one of my favorite beers. It's fantastic. Uh, a coffee saison is very rare. This is the first one I've ever run into. Uh, after it's fermented, they add cold-pressed coffee from a local coffee company called Counterculture. It's a Colombian slash Kenyan coffee. Uh, they do a blend and it really adds an interesting flavor. A number of Saisons have a very high gravity or alcohol by volume. Uh, this Saison is not particularly high in gravity. It's only 5.8% gravity, which isn't too high. So it's not going to ruin you if you have a couple of them. It's an extremely <laughs> complex beer. It has a lot of different flavors as it goes through your mouth. Initially, it has sort of a sour citrus flavor, and it's interesting because it's like only on the tip of your tongue. And as it comes back, it rounds out to that, more of that standard Zezon, that sour, bready quality, um, and maybe like a drier, pale ale, if you will. But as it goes down with the finish, it's a smooth, it's a little sweet finish, but you'll notice that co those coffee notes really come up in the finish. The first time I had this beer, I was like, well, where's the coffee flavor? And I, I took a few sips, and I... I was kind of unimpressed. They said, you know, I, where is the coffee? But I noticed after about three or four sips, after I put my glass down, that my mouth tasted like I've been drinking coffee for the last hour. It was really fantastic and interesting. And this is one of those beers as a thinker. You want to drink it slow and take your time. And uh, it's a lot of fun to drink. So what might you pair with a beer so complex as this? Well, honestly, this is a beer that really should be drunk alone. Um, it's just one of those beers that you want to take your time and sip. It's not generally a meal beer, but if I was going to pair it with anything, honestly, I would think about something bready. Maybe like a Chicago-style Italian loaf with some butter or something like that. You might even try a croissant, but not a croissant. Because this is America. Yeah. Anyway, so if you're in the area, if you're swinging through Asheville, I would really recommend the Burial Beer Company. It's fantastic. All their beers are great. But this one is my personal favorite. So check it out, and thanks for watching.